Hello, my name is Liza Kamikazi. I live here in Kigali, the capital of Rwanda. I'm a gospel artist. I'm also a TV producer. Can I borrow five minutes of your time? Come with me to a village close to mine in a land of a thousand hills. Down this hill, children, women and men go to look for the most precious of natural resources that human beings can't live without. Come with me and see what I saw. Maybe you will feel what I felt. Going down the hill, I could not help but admire the beauty of the view ahead. The green valley under the blue sky looked so surreal and it felt as if we walked into what seemed to be a masterpiece. Suddenly, the romance was over and reality kicked in. I stood there intrigued. The question was, what are they going to do with this water? A man making bricks on the other side said, they even drink it. I could not believe it. I remembered how at home we always make sure that the kids never drink tap water. I had to do a bit of investigation to find out the truth about the usage of this water. I was curious to know how else they use this water. More people came to fetch water in the pond as I was still trying to get my head around the issue. I asked one of the ladies named Yanghurije Anunciata, who lives in Rukili village with her husband and her two children. <laughs> The mother of Lilian, Mukani Tondereje Donata, explained some more about this issue they are facing. I was curious to find out if there are any effects they see in their health, especially among their children. After everything was said and done, Lillian's mom made sure everyone goes back home with a full container and filled her neighbor's jerry cans. I was so moved by that generosity that cares for a neighbor even when you do not have what you need, but you still share what you have. As we walked back up the hill, I chose to believe that you and I are going to put an end to this issue by sharing some of what we have, just like Lillian's mom demonstrated and carrying Lillian's jerry can containing dirty water, I dreamt of the day when her and her siblings and her friends will not only drink clean water, but will carry it home. You might not have all that you need, all that you want, but from what you have, you can contribute to putting an end to this water issue. You can save lives. You can save a village. Help me save a village close to mine.